The dialogue of feminism adapts over time, but it's still an important conversation. How does it affect your life today? Huh, good question. Um, well, I grew up in a family of three brothers, so um, <laughs> I lived what it feels like to fight for respect in my own family, um, and especially in sports. It's funny, like this film, it just became the arena to fight for respect because sometimes you would be thought of as a good athlete for a girl, but not just a good athlete. And just that little bit of, you know, putting down somebody because they're a certain gender just is hurtful. So I definitely have a very sensitive soul to this whole issue. I love the story that Billie Jean tells about her tennis shorts and about how that inspired her to be the best. What gives you your drive to succeed? Um, wow, you've got such good questions. Um, well, I think it's evolved over time, that will. I think in the beginning I maybe had a very childlike need to be seen, possibly in my family, which drove me to even think about becoming an actor. And then I think as time has gone on, I've become much more interested in the human contact that you have with the people you work with and the, the richness of humanity that you're able to express and experience with people. And I just find that the most interesting part of life, so I feel blessed that I get to live in an arena where that's what it's all about. Not everyone plays in live sporting tournaments, but they still experience intense pressure in their day. How do you deal with pressure? <laughs> Not very well. I came to the event and my, my dress wasn't even zipped up properly and I, I don't deal with this whole thing very well at all. But you know, it's funny, on the way here I was reading, uh, rereading Billie Jean King's book, Pressure is a Privilege, yes, and I was really thinking about what she was saying and that I have to stop shrinking away from having to be out and being a spokesperson in some ways. and, and feel like it's a privilege and I'm very grateful to be able to be here talking to you.